welcome. I'm Lisa Louise Cook, and this is your tech tip for genealogy and family history. And today we are going to talk a little bit more about one of my favorite websites, and that's Google Books. Now, if you haven't already seen my past videos on Google Books, you gotta go check them out. Of course, everything that we are doing here at Genealogy Gems is at our Genealogy Gems YouTube channel, youtube.com slash genealogy gems. But today we're gonna be talking about Google Books. And I wanna give you kind of a way to, to speed things up, if you will, as you're looking through Google Books. Um, you know, the problem is, there's never enough time, isn't there? There's just never enough time. And so as we're using technology and we're online doing our research, it would be really great to be able to save a little bit of time and get better results. That's what these tips are all about. So in the first Google Books video, I showed you a really fast way to get to the free stuff fast. In this video, we're gonna use that technique, but uh, we'll take it a little bit further. We're gonna find some unusual gems. I like to call them gems, those little nuggets of wonderful information, pictures, photographs that have to do with our family history. And you don't think of Google Books as a place to go and get pictures, but it's a great place to do that. And I'm gonna show you a really fast and easy way. So we are at books.google.com. And here I'm gonna just do a basic search. Let's say that I'm looking for Texas uh, geography history. I'm looking for old maps, okay, in Texas. So we did our initial search now before we start digging down all of these and, and get disappointed because some of these are not free. We're going to click search tools, any books, and free Google eBooks. Great. Now we're good. Now let's say that we're looking for El Paso, okay, the area of El Paso. So this is again searching everything that in the list that we had refined down to and pulled up the ones in order that kind of focused on El Paso. So here's the history and geography of Texas as told in county names. Uh, it's from 1915. Oh, that makes sense why it's in the free list. So you come here and you're inside the book. Okay, this is great, except it's gonna take a long time um, to find what you're looking for. What Google Books did was it, you can see these little marks down here on the right. These show the spots in the book where El Paso is mentioned. And this is way down into the book. Looks like it's toward the end of the book. If we use our scroll bar, you know, we can go and, and look at some of the other pages. We can also use this, the wheel on our mouse to spin up. This is gonna take a long time to go through and see how much imagery and if there are any maps in this book. But we are gonna use the thumbnail tool. This button up here, it looks like a checkerboard, okay? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take us from full page screen to many pages screen, and that is really gonna speed things up. Look how different this book looks now. So now when you scroll through, wow, you can spot how many portraits are in here. But look at this, there are maps. So as you're really quickly skimming, I kind of think of this as the Evelyn Wood speed reading dynamics for Google Books. And that is a really fast way to kind of move your way through a book and locate what you want. And if you're looking for maps, I see one, let's click it. And there it is. So this map is perfect. This is in the area maybe that we're looking for, or maybe it's not. Let's head back to our thumbnail view. Remember our little button up here? Click that, and you can keep scrolling through. Here's another map, okay? So this is a really fast way to see imagery. You could dig into the table of contents, and then you could go down and see if there's an index for the book, but I gotta tell you, I have found things so much more quickly this way in terms of um, finding imagery in particular, and, and photographs, and just seeing that there are drawings in here as well. So there you have it. It's a really quick tech tip, but it's one I think that you could use on a pretty regular basis. Again, think about it. 
Google Books is chock full of over 25 million fully digitized books. And the books prior to around 1923, those are the ones that are typically in the public domain. There are exceptions if the family of an author has continued on their copyright, that kind of thing. But generally, history books are perfect for digging into because they're going to be fully digitized. Uh, they're going to have the OCR, optical character recognition, applied to them. That's how Google Books found El Paso so quickly in this book. And now, once you get to a book, you can just do a real quick scan to see what kinds of photos, drawings, and maps are in your books. And that you're gonna do through the thumbnail tool. I hope you've enjoyed this tech tip. These all come from my book, The Genealogist Google Toolbox, the second edition. So if you are looking for more and you like this kind of stuff, check that out. We'll have a link below this video here on our YouTube channel uh, or wherever it is that you're seeing this. And of course, I do hope that you will subscribe to the YouTube channel so that I can be in touch with you next time with our next tech tip. Thanks for watching, friend. I'll talk to you soon. There'll be more.